Thanks, Keith. Was that not some performance? And that's all I'm going to say because Gus doesn't want me to repeat his speech. The committee of Queen's Park Football Club gives two Player of the Year awards. But before doing so, I have another one. Earlier this year, I had the pleasure of giving mementos to David Galt and Connor McVeigh, who had both achieved their 100th appearance for the club during the first half of the season. I am delighted to say that a third player achieved his 100th appearance against Stranra on the 17th of March, and I'd like to ask Scott Gibson to come forward to receive me. Okay, to the, the two committee awards before you get to the, the supporters award. The committee gives two awards. The Archie McDougall Cup goes to the Young Player of the Year. This player came into the first team and I think has got better and better as the season's gone on. And I'm delighted to say that the committee's Young Player of the Year is Lewis McGee. And finally, to our player of the year, providing Graham doesn't break the trophy, um, the Fred Terrace Trophy is awarded to the player that the committee believe have done, performed the best throughout the season. And this year, we were unanimous that that award should go to David Gold. Thanks very much, Alan. Uh, John, John, where are you? Are you going to make this? Cammy, if you want to come up. So, um, I think you're going to say a couple of words anyway. However, we, we do have, um, you, uh, you, 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 everyone knows a new Roy Richmond, and uh, there's a, a trophy for a young player um, every year. And last year it was Mr. McGee. So, um, you just go onwards and onwards and onwards at this club. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Richmond, are you going to say a couple of words here? Oh, Mr. Brown is. Um, just to very quickly, I knew um, John's dad very well. He was good friends with my father too. And uh, we first met here at Hampden Park to watch the Speedway, which I'm involved in now, um, in the early 70s. He tried to make me a Queen's Park fan. He didn't quite manage. But he's still working on it. So, um, it's very kind. I'm very, very honoured to present this to... You've got to open it up. Ah. <laughs> In best Hollywood traditions. Michael Ruth. Thank you very much. Um, can I call, call upon uh, Mr. McPherson? If you want to come up and make the presentations here. Uh, can, I, can I just uh, thank Mr. McPherson and the team 
for carrying the season on because I've still got two boxes of macaroon bars to sell in the souvenir shop. <laughs> and the place won't take them back. Um, we have three awards. Uh, first one is for the goal of the season. Mr McPherson, if you want to open the, the envelope. Or, in fact, do you want to say a few words first? No, I'll do it after. I can guess you. <laughs> And the winner is Aidan Keener. Yes, could you come forward, please? Just not in the back. Freddy, shut up. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so we have two trophies. Uh, we vote for one on the away bus after every game, obviously. And uh, <laughs> after a few sherbets. Uh, I'm a teetotaler, as you know, Gus. And um, so the winner of the Travel Club Player of the Year is. David Gold. Okay, and the, the last award is the Association Player of the Year. This is the Supports Association members all vote for it um, at the end of the year. And the winner is... <laughs> Adam Cummins. Um, I should, should have mentioned um, the Player of the Year award is uh, named the Ivy Riddle, Riddle Trophy and the Away Player of the Year award is the Martin Kelly Trophy in, in uh, memory of two fantastic Queen's Park uh, supporters. Um, I'm going to ask... <laughs> I'm going to ask Mr McPherson to say a couple of words on the season, just keeping going... It'll only be a couple of words and I'll keep you. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the boys that have uh, won those awards, thoroughly deserved, um, and the rest of the squad, I think. As you can imagine, there's quite a few people excited on that performance today and the result. I think I said to the boys in the dressing room, that must now be our motivation uh, to try and remain in League One. It would be one hell of an achievement if they can do that. Um, yeah. I've said on numerous occasions they don't get the credit they deserve because of what they give up um, time finance just to come in and play and the way they work a Tuesday and a, well some on a Tuesday <laughs> I'll not mention any names. Um, but no, they're, they're a credit to themselves. Uh, and, and every single Queen's Park supporter should be very, very proud of them. And it doesn't matter whether they're 16, whether they're 
I think Jerry's 36 now or something like that. He is. But uh, no, they're a credit to themselves and you should be proud of them, what they, what they give up. <laughs> Keith, Keith just said to me there, can we not get the players or the, the winners there to say a few words? It's taken probably David Gold three years to come out of his shell. And there is absolutely no chance that he would speak with a microphone. But we have a message for David Gold. He is, uh, there's a lot of community work uh, with another Glasgow club. Um, he, he does a lot in the football background that people really don't notice, apart from when he trains with international teams and <laughs> seeks the limelight doing that, <laughs> hanging about superstars. Um, but he was scheduled, and I stress scheduled, to do the Stirling Marathon tomorrow. Um, we are now looking for a, a driver to make sure that he's driven round the course <laughs> so that he can collect all sponsorship money and he doesn't need to pull out of it. But uh, if we get a performance like that from David and the rest of the group, Today, um, if we prepare right for the next two games, hopefully the next four games, uh, we can achieve our objective. But we need everybody on board. So thank you once again for your support. <laughs> Cheers. I can only echo what Gus said about the performance today. I thought in the second half we were absolutely terrific today. And it has been a challenging season. I uh, we was speaking last week, and I don't think there's one game where you would say we actually carried a wee bit of luck in that game. So what I'm hoping is for the, the playoffs, all the luck for the season is going to just lamp itself onto the next four games. Four games. Uh, but I've, I've got to say, Gus, two years ago when we came up through the playoffs, for the last three Saturdays of the season, we had to avoid defeat by two goals. And if you remember, all three games, we lost by one goal. And uh, my heart can't take this, Gus. <laughs> so, you need to get them to win three nil, two three nils, and then two three nils, because see this hanging on, even today, we're three goals up, and we're really looking, that second half was terrific. And all I'm doing is looking at the guy beside me who's got the, the BBC thing up with Air United 1, Albion Rovers 0. And I went, oh, <laughs> score another bloody goal. And then there was just this, yes! And what's, what's that? What's that? And somebody must have been looking at another website. So they've all, they've all heard that Air have scored a second goal. And this guy beside me is he's hitting his phone. <laughs> So let me tell you, Director General of the BBC, I'm getting a flaming letter into this guy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take a scrappy win today, but it was a terrific win today. Uh, really, really great. Uh, <laughs> so it's Tuesday at Senish Muir, Saturday here, and then. Who knows who we play in the next week, the next games after that, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's great to begin into the playoffs with such a performance behind us. And I know you're, you've got to manage this, Mr. McPherson, but I thought it was great. I'm going to get really drunk tonight. <laughs> is, is that, no. And, and thank, thankfully, I've got a couple of people, my brother and his pal staying at my house, and my daughter's here as well, so I've got three people that can actually cart me up the road tonight. It's just excellent, absolutely excellent. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming along. Players, coaching staff, uh, it was great today. We've got another four games, lads. Come on. Right. <laughs>